Try you and Ken, try you and Ken. No street fighter, just me and my friend. He got my back and I got his. So y'all might as well call us Try you and Ken. Bottles on deck, we clubbing on the weekend. And we taking shots till our bodies start the weekend. Pocket full of paper, wallet full of plastic. Closet full of clothes, shopping is a habit. Ladies, we single, so let's start flirting. Holla at a man if your boy ain't certain. You wearing that dress, you look so clean. You got an attitude cause your body's so mean. My dude to the left, I'm sliding to the right. We looking for the baddest two girls we can sight. Girl, you invited to the party in my pants. So back it up on me. Like a U Haul band, my boy posted up, looking like an idol. What's going on YouTube? It's your man Black Sage 21 and it's Tuesday so we're getting to my questions and answers series and today we are going to be talking about something that you guys have been blowing my email up, blowing my inbox up, blowing me up on uh, Xbox Live asking me, Sage, how do you get MOAB? Sage, how many MOABs have you gotten? Sage, how do you get an MOAB so easy? How do you make it look so easy? Sage, Sage, sign up. I'm just playing. But no, seriously, you guys do ask me a lot about MOAB. I really don't know what the hype is around MOABs because honestly, well, I guess I really shouldn't say that because I I get them fairly easy and I'm not saying that to be cocky or whatever, but I really don't. In, in the first Modern Warfare uh, where they introduced the tactical nuke, I probably got one nuke and then I never got them again because you had to completely like t almost tailor your class to getting the nuke. I mean, you could get it without tailoring your class to get it or whatever, but I felt like in order to like get it and you know get it when you wanted it, you kind of had to like tailor your class to it, and it took away from some of the fun of the game. Um, in this particular Call of Duty, because of the fact that I love playing with this specialist class, um, getting that that nuke happens you know a lot just kind of randomly. The the specialist class. Uh, I've said it before is the best class in my opinion for getting yourself a MOAB and today I decided to revisit the specialist class um, and pretty much go over in detail what my current specialist class uh, consists of now I think you guys my first MOAB I got was with the specialist class but I was using the ACR now the ACR is a wonderful weapon you know I I for whatever reason I've gotten away from using the ACR uh, I guess it's just because there's so many good guns in this game and uh, it's just you don't have to really choose one favorite you can I mean you could play with several different guns but uh, I've really taken a liking to this scar L uh, mainly because it's extremely powerful like uh, at range close quarters like it's 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 just a very powerful weapon so I love the power uh, and then I always put extended mags on it because it's got a short clip and um, it kicks like crazy guys and if you've ever noticed the more powerful a weapon is usually it has more kick so what you want to do is kind of tame these guns that have all this kick and stuff you want to tame them use uh, do the kick proficiency and I actually put extended mags on mine like I said so that's what I do for my primary now this is something I do to change it up because we're doing uh, a specialist class and we want to utilize all of the perks that you know available I mean you can't I wouldn't say you can utilize well you can pretty much utilize every single perk and their pro uh, proficiency as well uh, I've got overkill in as my secondary perk so that way I can switch between the scar L and that PP 90 which the PP 90 is an amazing weapon um, it's probably in my opinion one of the only close range weapons that can compete on the same level as shotguns um, and in my opinion I actually feel like it's better than shotgun because it does have a little bit more accuracy and a little bit more range than even a shotgun with range on it so in my opinion you put some rapid fire on that PP 90 uh, you know overkill uh, pro of course so you can have the the kick you want to put the kick uh, proficiency on that PP 90 as well and go to work now I have hardline dead silence steady aim those are my specialist perks uh, hardline is not in my um, in with my original perks because overkill is there and in order to use overkill it has to be in one of your first perks so uh, and then also 
I've got um, Stalker and Slide of Hand Pro uh, that that come with my regular perks. I mean, I've gone over several times, you know, the the pros and cons of these perks and and stuff like that. Uh, because of the way I play this class and way, the way it's set up with sleight of hand on it, I mean, I'm in the fray all the time. You know, uh, it's just, it's kind of a necessary thing for me. If you guys are a little bit more laid back, you don't necessarily have to put sleight of hand pro, you know, in your, in your primary perks. You can definitely leave it for your specialty bonus. I mean, there's, there's, there's definitely some good perks in there that you guys could utilize you know just want to tailor it to your own but this is my particular class and you know because of the way I play it's tailored to my game style uh, so if you guys don't rush as hard you know you may not you may want to switch it up a little bit but I will say one of the more important things about this specialist class is um, you don't get the pro perks by getting the specialist bonus you only get what you have unlocked so if you don't have the pro perk unlocked for a particular perk you have to go unlock it in order for it to be available to you when you get the specialist bonus this is critical because early on I didn't realize this and there's a ton of pro perks that do work so make sure that you're going through get all your pro perks for every perk set your class up and then hey I mean maybe you can have a game where you go um, I think I go like 38 and 3 in this <laughs> you'll see here in a second but I hope this information is helpful for you guys definitely take advantage of this specialist you also get a ton of points for running specialists I mean if you guys notice you know I get 300 points 100 points for the bonus I mean you get a ton of points which is gonna help you level up more so um, I'll let your boy Sage